Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back to the Hot Wheels Mama's Fan. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you have not already done so, and you would like to, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about cerebral palsy because I myself have cerebral palsy and I want to help those who have disabilities understand just because you have a disability doesn't mean you can't live a productive life because you absolutely can you just have to set your mind to whatever it is you're trying to achieve and you can't achieve those goals don't let anybody ever tell you that you can't achieve a goal that you want to achieve yes you may need help with certain things but that does not mean that you cannot achieve the goals that you are trying to achieve for today's video is the Q&A I told you guys a while back that I was going to do a Q&A for you so here we go 15 minutes <laughs> about me now guys I don't share my personal life very often because I'm only here to talk about cerebral palsy and and how I help my kids with me having cerebral palsy but today I'm going to share about me as you all know I'm only I only come on here to talk about cerebral palsy and how it affects me in different ways now for those of you that don't know I have two sisters, one brother, I'm the oldest. And someone uh, asked me a long time ago, did I have any siblings or do I have any siblings or am I the only child? The answer to that is no, I'm not the only child. Some, day, some days I wish I was, but no, I'm not the only child. I have two sisters and one brother. I am the oldest out of the four of us. My mom had four children. Um, my parent, Both of my parents are still alive, but I don't talk about my parents very often on here because um, I don't have a good relationship with my mom and I talk to my dad but not um, like I should and that's because sometimes I don't see eye to eye with my dad so it's best to just back away for a little bit and come back to it. I, for those of you that are new here, I cannot walk. I was born with cerebral palsy, but the doctors didn't find it so find it until I was approximately two years old I was told um, but I don't let my excuse me I don't let my cerebral palsy get me down I still do what I have to do for myself for my family that's just how I roll I won't give up I'm not a quitter. I'm a fighter. And for those of you that say 
relationships don't work because you have a disability. Well, guys, you just have to find the right person. And I found the right person. I've been with my fiancé for almost 10 years. Um, and it's a, it's a great relationship. I love my relationship. There's nothing in this world that I want to do for that man. Vice versa. There's nothing in the world that he wouldn't do for me. He's always putting me first. No matter what it is, that man will go to the end of the earth to do what he has to do for me and my children. My daughter loves him to death. She... Is always talking to him. She every time we do video chat, she's always talking to him. Both of my children talk to him, but my daughter talks to him more. My son's in his own little world because he thinks he's grown. He's tw he's twelve, and he just goes off and does his own thing. What I mean by that is he'll be up in his bedroom playing on his, his game system or whatever he likes to do up in his room. Um, and for those of you that are wondering how I took care of my kids when they were babies, his grandmother went out and bought a portable chain changing table so I could uh, prop him up to feed him change him do whatever I basically did whatever I had to do in that bassinet he slept in that thing now granted I I, I could lift him when he was a baby but it was a lot easier for me to do it having him lay on that changing table and you could strap him in but I never strapped him in because he somehow knew granted he was a baby and I somehow knew that it was hard for me to change him so he never he never moved unless he was hungry or he needed changed. That's how I could tell he was hungry or he needed change. That's the only time that he cried or moved. All the rest of the time, he was sleeping. Now, in a later video, I will talk about the surgery that he had when he was a baby. And for my daughter, the way that I would take care of her is I would just lay her in my bed and... Uh, changer, feeder, holder, and I would do the same thing for my son. It wasn't hard for me, I just had to adapt to make it work for me. Um, I love being a mom. If you guys ask, do I love being a mom? Yes, I love being a mom. And I would do it ten times over if I could. I have my days where I get frustrated like any other parent. But I just move on and try to do the things that I can do for my kids. Now they're at the age where they can... Uh, Pretty much 
get themselves dressed and and do all that now if they need help with certain things I will help them like if they need to talk about something I will help them through it um and they always come to me and talk about things because I left that door open for them to do that. I never ever want to shut my kids out when they need me. So when they need to talk, I'm always there for them. I'm going to end this Q&A. But before I do that, if you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. For those of you that are new here, please go ahead and subscribe if you would like to. And with me saying that, I'm going to say this. Never say you can't. Always say you can. Never give up. Try your best each and every day. Thanks, guys, for allowing me to come into your home each and every day. Thank you for allowing me to share share my story with you guys. Bye, guys. I will see you soon.